that's cool too. Okay. Hey, it's Nix and I am back with more Curse Forge and The Sims 4. So, um, earlier we went over how to install it and everything. I just want to take a quick look at the website though, because the website was to be updated too. Honestly, it does not look like it has been updated except the pictures just look wider on my screen. Of course, that might not be everybody else's screen, so that's why I just want to see on my screen. But yeah, ain't much really changed on the website. So we're going to just go ahead and go to the app. Hey, so I have gone to the Curse Forge Twitter page and on the Twitter page, you will see that this is actually the new beta website. So it's called beta.curseforge.com and it will take you to a page that is very similar looking to the app. Uh, we'll get into the app in a minute, but I like it very dark mode. It looks better than the original Curse Forge website already. Um, Cause you know, most, I, I mean, you're supposed to be in dark mode, duh. <laughs> like, so it looks better already compared to the original website. Um, the categories and stuff are still pretty much the same. Um, I don't know if they have a better way of organizing them though. Uh, to download, I think it automatically makes you install the yeah, Curse Forge app, I think. Oh, you can, oh no, you can download the file. Okay, good, you can still download manually. So that's good. But you can still download manually. Um, a lot of the features are the same. You can still search, blah, 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 blah. It's pretty much the same. It's just darker and it look a little fancier. That is the only difference. But they really ain't changed much so far. I'm gonna browse other games, be a modder with them, um, community, and then support contact us this kind of stuff okay cool uh it looks nice look it looks nice uh i think you still have to log in yep you still have to log in with twitch that is only that's the only that's your only a login option at least from the website so yeah look so yeah but yeah that's it as far as looking at this website because ain't nothing much changed and we don't really care about that right now we want to look at the app all right so we're gonna go to the app <laughs> All right, so we have made it to the Curse Forge app now. It says I have 17,365 mods installed. Um, Earlier this morning, about 9.30, when it was actually kind of starting to read the stuff, it only said 465, so it has been able to read more of the mods. Um, so it is slowly, um, how can I say this? Slowly kind of catching up, I guess would be the best way to put that. But um, if you go through your mod manager with heavy quotation marks, um, you will see that your tray files and your CC and all your mods are all in the same thing. There's nothing divided in them. They're not divided by your own folders. There's no folders in here to divide it. There's no like accessory folders or nothing. If you have your things like divided very neatly, it does not care. <laughs> like it does not care one bit. Of course, I have a lot of my CC all in one place. So maybe that is why my me look like this but i just think it just does not care um because i do have a, a few folders in there that it could divide it by and it is not so yeah but i'll let you know what you can do you can search for certain things in here i'm sure if you type in shirt some shirts will pop up yes so if you type in shirt your shirts will pop up in your in your mods folder uh same thing for any other items that you may pop that that has the actual name in there um like i said your tray files are in here so this is a sim this is one of my sims it is just in there just floating on in there this is an item by somebody else when you click on it you can see it uh all the tags and stuff um available for it of course, you may want to change some of these tags in Sims 4 Studio to make it more appropriate for when you're searching for things in the game. But, you know, it's up to you. That's something that you're doing your own time. But anyway, if you hit if you hit these little three dots over here and click browse folder, it will show it in the folder so you can go straight to it. If you want to edit anything about it, you can also delete it from here. Uh, if you want to delete multiple, you click on this check mark. And you'll be allowed to delete multiple things. I'm gonna uncheck Damien right quick. And if you hit delete, it does not ask you to confirm about your deletion. You have to hurry up and click this undo if you weren't sure that you wanted to delete those two items. So just be aware that if you click delete, it does not ask you to confirm 
you got to be sure you want to delete it or you got to hurry up and run down here before this disappears okay um <laughs> so just be aware of that look what else can i tell you about this um they do have pictures for most of your cc and everything some things do not have pictures um they do have it for you know a lot of cc and mods that are not available here if you want to ooh, um let's see this one if you want to have it be updated or have auto update i think if it's available in curse forge you can just hit update up here or update all or whatever um if you click on get more mods well, i'll hit you all um if you click on hit more hit uh, get more mods i don't think it's allowing you to install the mod so let's say i want to install uh little miss sam simda now, it'll say install but it's not actually installed in your game um if you go to simda app you click install again yeah it ain't it ain't installing um but if you would like to yeah it just keeps saying install and then you can download it from the actual website it will take you to the actual website and you can install it from there let me see if i if i hit install it from there will it actually install it no it doesn't it does not install it at all okay but you can install it from the curse force website certain certain things you can install from the curse force website okay well they just ain't popping up all right so if you want to find your mods you have to know the names of your mod so like the tool mod i know the name of that it says recently updated um i don't know why it's saying recently updated i have not downloaded it from here but because i have not downloaded from here but it's okay but if you want to for your own for your mods that's already in your mods folder if you want to have it auto install updates you can just click auto install updates if it is available um on chris forge you can install library separately so i think that's like if it has like little extra things that it needs requires to run then you can go ahead and click on that um you can report a bug again this is from the website you can copy the mod link you can browse the actual folder that it's in all that kind of stuff you can delete the mod all that stuff from there so if you need to do that you can um but yeah i don't it ain't honestly you can skip this you can skip this because it, it's not really a mod manager at all um you can do better with the mod manager from mod the sims if you really want a mod manager because at least it, it is divided by like folders and stuff so you can at least do that um uh, yeah i recommend you just get the mod manager from mod the sims or some other site if you use tsr i guess you better off just continue to use tsr mod manager or if you use nexus mods i think they have a mod manager so you might be better off using them too so yeah um i recommend you just stick with those for now because this one is kind of bad but if you do decide to use this mod manager there is the give us feedback button please let them know the things that they can change to make this mod manager better including um separating things that would make sense to separate things maybe a confirmation about if you're sure you want to delete something that would be nice i don't know i just need this to be separated better than what it is currently because this is just all tossed in here your trade files everything just tossed all in one place just good luck just good luck same thing with over here with the browsing category like i feel like this could be divided better than what it currently is i felt that way since i saw the site website has not even been updated even though they said they would update it so that is very interesting um so I want to quickly show you what their timeline is as far as what, when they plan on rolling stuff out. But they were like, hey, we're going to have a new mod manager and a new and improved website. So, yeah, um, and nothing really changed with that. And this mod manager is kind of trash. So if you decide to go ahead and get the mod manager, like I said, leave them all the feedback to let them know all the things that they can do to fix it because it needs a lot of help. Like, don't forget, too, that it is in beta, so it should get better before i just try dump on the thing it is in beta so it should get better but like i was saying just let them know things that they can do to fix it and i thank you all for taking the time to watch this video i hope you all are doing well and take care of yourselves until next time 
Bye.